Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We are carrying on our series looking at the conversation that took place on the road to Emmaus. And today we are going to think about Isaac and Jesus. Our key verse today is taken from Genesis 22 and is verse 2. It says, Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. As Jesus explained what the scriptures taught about himself, I am sure that he reminded the two disciples of Isaac. There are just so many similarities between Jesus and Isaac. Both their births were promised many years before their fulfillment, and both were named before they were born. Both are called sons of Abraham. The similarities increase when we examine Genesis chapter 22, where God tested Abraham. Genesis 22 verse 2 says, Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah, sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on the mountain, I will show you. Both Isaac and Jesus were offered by their fathers in sacrifice. Both travelled to the area by donkey. Both carried wood on their backs up a hill to be sacrificed. In Genesis 22, the ram was caught in the thrones. But on the cross, Jesus is the Lamb of God who wore a crown of thrones. Both sons were resurrected or given back to their fathers on the third day, one figuratively and one literally. In Genesis 22, God provides a ram as a substitute. But on the cross, Jesus was our substitute. He took a punishment which we deserved. We can only imagine how heartbroken Abraham must have felt when God told him to sacrifice his beloved son. Even the idea makes any parent shudder. Not only did he love his son so much, but God was asking him to do what appeared to invalidate God's own promises to him, that through Isaac he would create the promised nation, and his descendants would be as many as the stars in the sky. It could not have made any sense to Abraham, but he trusted God anyway and responded in obedience. John Owen wrote, Sometimes through God's providence there may appear to be inconsistencies between God's commands and his promises. Nothing but faith bowing the soul in divine sovereignty can reconcile this. True faith, like Abraham's, believes that God can do the impossible. Isaac's response is equally amazing. Despite his circumstances, he trusted his father completely. If his father said God would provide, then that was enough. Hebrews 11.19 says, Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead, so in the manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from the dead. I wonder... Do we model this sort of obedience even when things don't make sense to us? As with Isaac, God commanded that Jesus must die, Isaiah 53. And this seems at first glance to be inconsistent with his promise that Jesus would rule the earth, Zechariah 9, 10. But in both cases, with Isaac and with Jesus, we witness that God is entirely consistent with his word and his plans are much bigger than our perspective. Let's pray together. Oh, Father, we just thank you again today for your word. Father, we thank you as we've been considering the similarities between Isaac and Jesus, that you are always consistent, that you are consistent to your promises, that the circumstances we find ourselves temporary in do not determine your plans. Father, we thank you that you see the beginning to the end. Lord, that even before the creation, you had your perfect plan worked out and nothing interferes with that plan. Father, we thank you that in difficult times, you help us through. Father, we thank you that you help us to trust you even when it's difficult for us to trust. Lord, we thank you for Christ, who was offered as a sacrifice for us there on the cross, the Lamb of God. Father, we thank you that he became our substitute. And just as you provided the ram for Isaac, that you provided Christ for us that we may live. Father, we thank you for the life which we have in you. Father, we thank you that you sustain us by your spirit. Father, we thank you so much for your love to us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.